Hi, my name is Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my podcast 125. I'm going to look at creating a steel flange plate in 2D and 3D. So it's going to be an RHS with a steel plate welded to the bottom of it. I'm going to create this um, steel plate. So I'm going to start with a rectangle tool. Double click for the quick rectangle. Type in the size. Set the position. And there it is in the middle of the page. Under detailing we have a couple of really cool tools. This one here is for putting in holes. You can click here to set the holes and the sizes and everything and there are my holes on my plate. And I want an RHS. So I can check the sizes, I've got what I want, two clicks. And so there it is, I've got my holes and I've got my plate. The holes are quite cool if you've got the wrong size you can change them easily. And if we look at it in 3D, you can see there's a 3D version. I'm going to start turning this into real 3D stuff using the extrude command. So 10 mil for the plate. I've just converted my RHS to a polyline. Let's extrude that. Make it a bit higher. I need to ungroup these holes, so I'm going to use a quick keyboard selection to ungroup those. I'm going to use my magic wand to select the circles. Let's extrude those. And now all I need to do is to add these two parts together. Subtract away from that my circles. And there we are. All it really needs is a fillet around the edge. And there's a fillet tool to do that as well. Thanks for watching. For Vectorworks training, manuals and support, visit www.archoncad.co.nz.